So we have Ankit and uh, he has some good news for the VM users. He is going to uh, is going to talk about his project on Mono development. Let's over to the Ankit. So my project for the Hack Week uh, was to integrate VI with uh, Mono Develop. And Mono Develop right now uses GTK Source View as the editor. So the idea was use VI embedded into Mono Develop's environment to be it as the editor. So it shouldn't be just uh, there as a file editing thing, but Mono Develop should integrate with that. So I'll show uh, what is there right now. It's not complete yet. Uh, so this is a file. This is a normal project open in Mono Develop. And uh, instead of the normal usual editor that you have, this is the VI uh, editor here. And uh, again, this is the usual combo boxes, the class and method combos that uh, a more normal mono developer, mono developer user expects. So I can, if I click somewhere over here, say message type D now. So the position changes to that, uh, say go to event. The position changes to this event. So. Uh, so basically, the the two are integrated. I can uh, Mono Develop can send commands to Vim to uh, do something, and uh, now if I if, you, if I click on say I clicked on start listening here, this the combo box over here changes. So VI is talking back to Mono Develop also. Say so I click on on accept uh, TCP client here, and the this thing changes. This thing responds in the same way to cursor keys also. Uh, the other thing that we have uh, code completion here, so I can say listener dot listener is an object of TCP listener type. Uh, so I say listener dot, and I try to complete it. Now it returns me the list of uh, completions for it. The, so for example, I say local endpoint. I want to select that. And there's a bug in VI uh, when it's an embedding embedded mode. It doesn't insert things properly. So you see these extra garbage characters that are there. Uh, so for now, I'll try to remove them and show you. Now I say local endpoint dot, so it will give me the further completions for this. Uh, this is uh, VI and MD are talking uh, with a protocol known as the NetBeans protocol, which is used by NetBeans for embedding external editors. And that is what we're using here. But it doesn't uh, provide all the facilities or all the stuff required for the kind of integration that we have here. So we're using uh, the remote feature of VI also, which lets me set uh, X11 properties to send expressions to uh, VI to be to be passed uh, to be evaluated. So this is what is there right now. It's not very usable. VI keeps crashing every now and then. So th there'll be some VI hacking required also.